Orofacial pain and neurological disturbances pain is a subjective symptom and unlike a lump or ulcer, which can be examined and assessed. In the case of a pain the clinician must rely on the description given by the patient. The experience of pain depends on the emotional state, varies in one person at different times. Pain threshold varies from one person to another. Immediate environment culture. There are many questions which must be asked about any pain. One type, ache, tenderness, dull, throbbing, stabbing, electric shock. Two, severity, mild, moderate, sever. Three, duration, time since onset, duration of attack. Four, nature, continuous or intermittent. Five, exacerbating and relieving factors. Six, localization. Seven, referral, pain, assessment, from zero to five. The clinician must evaluate 1. The nerve involved a. The trigeminal nerve b. The greater auricular nerve area of the angle of the mandible and quad c. The glossopharyngeal nerve and quad pain in the posterior part of the tongue or in the throat and quad 2. Whether the pain or a. Peripheral only one branch will be involved b. Proximal involve more than one Branch C. If the cause is intracranial, more than one division may be involved in an advanced lesion. There may be sign of elevation of intracranial pressure. D. If the cause is intracerebral, then there may be a neurological deficits. Diagnostic tests. Which test to select? Is guided by history and physical examination, CT and or MRI, to rule out intracranial pathology. TMJ radiography, diagnostic occlusal appliance, cervical spine films, labs, ESR, biopsy, psychometric testing, classification of OFP. Acute OFP is primarily associated with teeth and their supporting structures. Causes of pain from teeth or supporting tissue, pulpitus, dentine hypersensitivity, periapical periodontitis, pericoronitis. Painful jaw disease, fractures, osteomyelitis infected, cyst, malignant neoplasm, postoperative pain, alveolar osteitis, dry socket, fracture of the jaw, damage to TMJ, COFP, chronic, OFP, 1, musculoskeletal, 2, neurovascular, 8, trigeminal autonomic cephalgias, tax, cluster headache, CH, paroxysmal hemocrania, PH, SUNCT, SUNA, Hemicrania Continua, HC, B, Migraines, COFP, Chronic, OFP3, Neuropathic Pain, Trigeminal Neuralgia, Glossopharyngeal Neuralgia, Postherpetic, Neuralgia, Secondary Neuropathic Pain, Headaches, Migraine Cluster, Headache, Tension Type, Headache, Chronic Paroxysmal Hemicrania, Miscellaneous Conditions, Giant Cell Arteritis, Auriculo, Temporal syndrome, Fry's syndrome, others brain T, hemorrhage, idiopathic, IC, hypertension, clinical features of raised ICP headache, impairment of conscious, level, papilledema, nausea, vomiting, raised arterial pressure, bradycardia, pain from extraoral, disease, diseases of the maxillary, antrum acute sinusitis, carcinoma, particularly when it involves the antra floor. Diseases of salivary glands acute parotitis, salivary calculolite, Sjogren's syndrome, malignant neoplasm, diseases of ears otitis, media, neoplasms in this region, myocardial infarction, angina, neuropathic orofacial pain, includes the most common RTN painful post-traumatic neuropathies burning mouth syndrome, BMS. More rarely facial post herpetic neuropathy central post stroke pain and glossopharyngeal neuralgia GN are encountered. Trigeminal neuralgia introduction and definition TN is in excruciating, short-lasting, unilateral facial pain. The most common is the classical unrelated to pathology caused by neurovascular compression of the trigeminal nerve root in the new classification, secondary forms have been classified separately, and these are related to a variety of clear pathologies including tumors, cysts, viral infection, trauma, and systemic diseases such 
as multiple sclerosis. Pain paroxysms are usually accompanied by spasm of the ipsilateral facial muscles, hence the name tic douloureux. No vascular compression upon the trigeminal nerve. Root. Neuropathic pain trigeminal neuralgia clinical presentation affects elderly. Fifth seventh decade almost always unilateral usually one branch is involved paroxysmal pain. Seconds to an LT. Two minutes distributed along fifth cranial nerve pain provoked by touching, smiling, eating or cold. Air. Asymptomatic between attacks. Trigger points. 20% pre-trigeminal neuralgia. Dull ache similar to toothache. Proceed TN. TN. Trigeminal neuralgia. Typical features pain is confined to distribution of one or more divisions of the trigeminal nerve. Pain is paroxysmal and very severe for few seconds. Trigger zones in the area. Absence of objective sensory loss. Absence of detectable cause. The superior cerebellar artery is the vessel most often responsible for neurovascular compression upon the trigeminal nerve root. There are three general types of treatments for trigeminal neuralgia. 1. Medications Carbamazepine, Baclofen. 2. Microvascular decompression, MVD, surgery. 3. Various nerve injury or inquat destructive procedure is rhizotomy techniques. Treatment, carbamazepine remains the drug of choice for TN. Initial, low-dose therapy, 100 mg with food, and a slow increase by 100 to 200 mg, on alternate days will minimize side effects. In responsive cases therapeutic effects are observed rapidly or within 3 days. Titration to final dose, 1,200 mg, d or more, should continue slowly based on response and side effects, lightheadedness, confusion, dizziness, vertigo, blurred vision or diplopia, sedation, vomiting, nystagmus, and nausea are very common. Oxcarbazepine, 300 mg times 3, D, titrate, as needed, baclofen, 5 to 10 mg times 3, D, needs titrating down slowly, usually used as add-on therapy. Gabapentin, 200 to 300 mg times 2, D. Lamotrigine, 25 mg times 1 to 2, D. Needs very slow titration. Trigeminal neuralgia. Surgeries. Surgical. Best prognosis in typical TN early after. Onset. Peripheral level. Ganglion level. Trigeminal root level. Central. Procedures percutaneous trigeminal rhizotomy 3 techniques are in use at the ganglion level. Radiofrequency rhizolysis glycerol injection and balloon compression. MVD. Surgery. Stereotactic. Radiosurgery. Gamma knife. Percutaneous. Glycerol. Rhizotomy. Radiofrequency. Balloon. Compression. Surgical surgery for TN is directed. Peripherally or centrally at the trigeminal ganglion or nerve root. Surgical procedures have a better prognosis when carried out on patients with typical CTN. MVD has the best prognosis when performed within seven years of TN onset. These modalities result in excellent initial pain relief, around 90%, but are associated with high rates of recurrence and complications. Overall, Radiofrequency rhizolysis consistently provides the highest rates of pain relief but is associated with high frequencies of facial and corneal numbness. Microvascular decompression MVD surgically separates intracerebral arteries from the trigeminal nerve root. Complications may include hearing loss, meningitis, cerebral fluid leak, wound infection, and sensory changes 5% to 10% of patients. However, complication rates are lowest in hospitals with extensive experience. After 10 years, 30% to 40% of MVD patients will experience relapse, but MVD remains the most cost-effective surgical approach to CTN. Gamma knife Gamma knife stereotactic radiosurgery GKS is a Minimally invasive technique that precisely delivers radiosurgical doses 70 to 90 grays to the 
trigeminal nerve root at the point of vascular compression and provides good to excellent initial pain relief. GKS has better long-term pain relief with less treatment-related morbidity than glycerol rhizotomy and may be indicated in patients who are poor candidates for MVD. However, GK has been extensively used as a second salvage procedure. Success rates of GKS as a first procedure are therefore higher. Neuropathic pain trigeminal neuralgia medical anticonvulsant carbamazepine 100 mgx2 up to 1000 mg per day gabapentin start with small initial dose monitor cbc lft and electrolytes side effects includes a granulocytosis and hepatitis surgical for refractory cases simple peripheral cryotherapy or open intracranial procedure Glossopharyngeal neuralgia GPN, is also called vagaglossopharyngeal neuralgia. It is characterized by brief but intense pain on one side of the throat, which may radiate within the mouth or into the ear. Unlike TN, carbamazepine and other medications are generally less effective in controlling pain and are not typically used as a diagnostic test. Applying anesthetic solution to the affected area of the mouth or throat which may temporarily alleviate the pain and has been proposed as a diagnostic test for GPN. Neuropathic pain glossopharyngeal neuralgia, similar to trigeminal neuralgia less common and less severe unilateral pain precipitated by swallowing pharynx soft palate, base of tongue, ear, mastoid. Treatment as for TN features the glossopharyngeal X nerve has two main sensory branches, the auricular, tympanic, and the pharyngeal, and pharyngeal GN, the pharynx or posterior tongue base are involved. Pain radiates to the inner ear or the angle of the mandible, and may include the eye, nose, maxilla, or shoulder and even the tip of the tongue. In tympanic GN, pain predominates in the ear, but may radiate to the pharynx. Bilateral pain occurs in up to a quarter of patients. Pathologies Mimicking GN A significant association between symptomatic GN and multiple sclerosis has been reported. TN and GN patients should undergo imaging, computerized tomography, CT, magnetic resonance imaging, MRI at least once during diagnosis and therapy. Imaging techniques such as Magnetic resonance tomographic angiography MRTA, may more accurately identify neurovascular compression. Sphenopalatine neuralgia, also known as Sluter's neuralgia, this facial pain disorder is characterized by unilateral headache behind the eyes with pain in the upper jaw or soft palate, with occasional aching in the back of the nose, the teeth, the temple, the occiput, or the neck. The pain is associated with nasal and or sinus congestion, swelling or redness of nasal mucus, membranes tearing and redness of the face, neuropathic, pain, post-herpetic, neuralgia, neuropathic pain post-herpetic neuralgia, persistent neuritic pain for NGT, two months, after acute eruption affect elderly and immunocompromised patients treatment anticonvulsants. Gabapentin TCA is antiviral in combination with TCA. All patients with HZ infection should be vigorously treated with acyclovir to reduce risk of PHN.